How's uh, Marcus Epstein when there seems to be a little concern over the back? Will he get some practice time today? Yeah, he's going to he's gonna be out there and practice. He's, he's good to go. How do you view the um, safety spot, uh, especially, you know, the depth? You, you, uh, Josiah now seems to be taking more reps there. You brought in a new guy. Um, Gavon and uh, Shashari are in the mix. Mm -hmm. How do you view that? Reed depth? and Anthony as well. You'll see us continue to mix guys. I think they're doing a really good job. Um, you know, excited to see him practice for some other people now and play with, play with uh, you know, being there with different guys. And, you know, we talked about the reasons for that and excited to see what they're doing. I think the DB coaches are doing an excellent job with that room and um, look forward to getting out here and having fun with those guys. What have you seen from Reed that you've liked? Uh, just like all those guys, you know, he's, he's, he's very he's smart. He's instinctive, and he has a unique skill set. You know, when I say unique skill set, he's not a, a post safety or a box safety. He can do it all. He tackles, and he processes fast, and he just needs some reps and time on task. Just, you know, he's as a rookie, you know, like some of the older vets have seen. So I really like, though, he's a guy that uh, he when he makes a mistake, he's not a repeat offender. And so from that, you know that he's going to continue to keep progressing. So um, just, I'm, I'm excited about Reed. Do you have any news about how you bring along rookies? Uh, or if you don't, how do you determine what you give them, how quickly you, you throw them into things? They get it all. Now, they get a different progression of learning than the vets do. Um, but once they're out here, they're, they have to know that what everyone else has to know. So uh, there's a, that's always that's a good question. That's always a case-by-case -case basis when we get them. And normally we have a pretty good feel of where they're at mentally before they come in the building. But as you, you, know, you go through OTAs, you kind of see that and you see, okay, well, you know, he's ready for the next step and he's re you know, he can move on or, hey, we got to you know, retouch this. You know, we got to go back to this. We got to repeat this. So um, all our rookie class, you know, that's how he's done a great job of bringing in guys that are smart. Um, you know, because we play some different things like everybody does. But, um, you know, they, those guys have to be able to pick that stuff up to be able to play. So, and they've done a good job with it. Among the characteristics that you value at safety, what premium do you place on range? Uh, that, that's ball skills and coverage ability. You know, you'd like to be able to see when the ball goes up in the air and they're on that side of the field. If, if they can make a play on it, make a play on it. So... You know, but range, that comes in a lot of different forms. You know, depth equals range. You hear me say that. You know, how deep are they? That, that gives them a little more range. Anticipation, uh, timing, what their eyes are seeing, you know, and the coaching points of all those things. Within each coverage, to be in the right position to have a chance to make certain plays on those on balls down the field. So, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I like where those guys are at. Are there certain things you're looking for in these next two days? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I want to see us compete against a really good offense. That's a very drastically different scheme than we've been playing against for three weeks. Um, so that's what I told our guys. You know, I'm looking for a couple things I want to see show up, and we're going to run our stuff. And it's it's awesome that we get to do this. And you know, they're obviously very well coached. They got a lot of talent on that side. So these two days, and then the game on Sunday will be a good you know evaluation piece for us. JJ, there was some concern about Jordan Davis coming out as far as conditioning, how many snaps he might be able to play in games. What are you seeing from him from a conditioning standpoint and maybe even just the progression from the spring till now? And and do you see any reason to limit him at all? No, no I don't. I mean he, he when he gets in there he goes full tilt, you know, and, and it's always a thing for bigger guys. You know, I say the hardest guys when we grade our effort is the backside corners and the D line. You know, because they, they don't always, there's a lot of times aren't play side. So the backside pursuit, running out of the stack and finish into the pile, all that stuff, we grade that and evaluate that. And, and he's done a good job of taking to that. Hey, man, like just because the ball's over there, you got to go run and hit it. Um, but I really thought that he was, uh, he showed good effort in the game and good stamina in the game, and there's no limitations on him. When it comes to, when it comes to his philosophy, you know, you're big on that. Too. What's usually the last one that rookies team uh, pick up on? And how are Jordan and Kobe and Kyron when it comes to that? Intensity because you don't get to do it. You know, intensity is kind of that last piece to the puzzle where that's, you know, when we talk about when the ways that we measure that, that's, that's you know, full tackle to the ground and hitting. Um, so, you know, you, we, we really made an emphasis on that in the last game and these next two games coming up. That's where that kind of shows up. So they know how that's measured and what's ex expected and what the standard of that is, but they don't get to really go do it until game day. So 
um, it's just a good learning piece for those guys. Hey, here's what we've been talking about. That's what it means right there on the game tape. So um, they'll they'll continue to learn and grow, and they're doing a good job. Along those lines, you had, uh, you had Nicobe kind of showed up in the game and made a lot of tackles. Is that kind of what you expected once he got into yeah, the I game action? Yeah, I expect all our linebackers to hit the ball when it's in between the tackles. You know, that's the job of a linebacker is hit the ball. So, you know, I, I really thought that, you know, and in practice you can see that happening, but, again, it's not full go and full tilt. But um, I was not surprised on the Kobe played at all. Can you, can you rotate those? Than, than what you had at that position last year. How much time did you spend this offseason sort of like researching ways to get him loose and, and like other schemes he's been used in, things like that? Uh, you know, the, 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 the greatest research tool, in my opinion, when we acquired him was his brain. So, you know, we had a good talk. We sat down with him and said, hey, you know, what are you comfortable with? What are you not? You know, what, what's you kind of, what are you, you know, what spots do you want to be in? What don't you? Here's how the scheme, here's how we see you fitting into the scheme. Here's our vision for you of how we're going to deploy you and how we're going to use you. Are you comfortable with that? Are you not? And we're still figuring that out. You know, it, and, you know, all those overhang players, that's always a continuous, you know, evaluation of, hey, this is, this is why we're doing certain things. This is what this guy's really good at. Let's put him in those spots a little bit more. But honestly, you know, Hassan is... Is, is so smart, you know, what he says is like, oh, you know, yeah, that makes, that's a, that's a really good point, you know what I mean? And just because I want to do something, if he doesn't want to do it, we're not going to do it. So, um, or if it's not the best thing for the team, we're not going to do that. So uh, I'm just really pleased with Hassan and his growth and the maturity that he brings and the football character that he has. John, but every, every team rotates. You approach him to ask him for, you know, his input on, on whatever. Um, have you ever had a player like that that you've gone to? Yeah, everybody has been on my watch. Everyone rotates uh, defensive linemen. You don't really see that as much uh, at the linebacker position, but you have four guys that seem, you know, to have different skill sets and whatnot uh, at that linebacker position. Can you rotate those guys depending on, um, you know, situation? But also, like, in terms of um, just keeping guys fresh and whatnot, too. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. You saw, like, earlier in the year we did that a little bit, and then it kind of calmed down a little bit. It, it really goes down to, you know, who's our – who's our best people and what we're trying to do that week, what are our favorable matchups. And, you know, also you have to take into consideration who's who's calling the defense, the green dot, because you don't want that guy subbing out a ton. We've, did, we've done it. But you'd like to, you know, 80% of the snaps not have to, you know, you'd like to be able to just say it and that's what gets ripped. So you don't want to be signaling all the time on certain situations. So I think that process will sort out in the next couple of weeks. And But there is there is value to having got multiple guys that can step in and play, you know, really good football for us and help us win games. What's the biggest difference in Marlin this year? Say it again, What's the Jeff? biggest difference in Marlin this year? I think he came back, you know, with what we asked him to improve his game on. He came back and he improved his game on. And, uh, you know, I really like where Marlin's at in the run and pass game. Uh, he's another one that's very smart, you know, with front mechanics. He understands why he's aligned in certain places, why his reads are certain certain ways. And um, he's doing a good job from a, you know, production standpoint and playing the run in the pass game. So I'm excited about Marlon. Kind of going back to those overhang players, you kind of mentioned Chiron, but what about Patrick Johnson uh, at that yeah, same spot? What have you seen from him? He, he's doing a good job. I mean, he's been violent the last couple of weeks and, and with playing in the run game. Uh, you know, when those guys get singled, we expect if the ball comes to them, they, if they're getting a blocker, they need to hit the ball. And uh, he's shown good, really good rush ability, and he's he's a natural in pass coverage. You know what I mean? So when we ask him to drop a little bit, like he has no issues with dropping. So it's really those the overhang players. You guys, you hear me talk about it. It's rush, crush, and a little bit of you know rush. Obviously, the passer crush the run game and a little bit of drop ability. You know, so when you play those different spacings, that's what you got to have those guys do. So he's he's done a good job, and I'm I'm excited. That was all those guys. I'm excited to see them go against a different scheme and different people, and this would be a good, really good week for us to see how we stack up. Can you see time? Is, he, is, is he behind right now, and does he still have a, a role for you? Yeah, absolutely. He's in there competing just like all those other guys. So, um, yeah, he absolutely still has a role for us, and this would be a big two weeks for him, but he's not behind. We didn't – We when he had to take, you know, a little bit of time off there, um, we basically had – 
everything in anyhow. So uh, I'm not worried about him getting caught up. He's caught up. Did you get any emotions coming home? What was the, the initial reaction, you know, when you guys found out that you were going to be able to come here? <laughs> I'm close with a couple guys on their staff, so it's good to go compete versus your buddies. Um, but, um, you know, it's it's just this Cleveland's one of 32, man. Hey, you well, Marvin Bresson, can you tell us about his progression from last year to this year? Yeah, he's doing good. You know, I, he, 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 had, he has a little bit of – he had a um, – a little bit of an injury when we got him, you know, he was, he was a little nicked and you saw that kind of show up at times. I don't think that's showing up and uh, he's he's done a good job to get himself in a little bit better shape to be able to play hard for a certain amount of plays like we're talking about with the effort there. And um, he's another one. He's a big man. He's violent. Uh, he plays with good pad level. He's hard to block, you know, and that's what you like from your inside guys. That can you, you know, are you hard to block? Can they, do they, can they allow one blocker to block here? Or do they have to put two on you? And then when you got a, you know, a one on one in the pass game, can you affect the quarterback? And he's done, he's done a really good job with it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys.